Yo, what is going on? Welcome back to Rosegard Gaming. It's your boy Sonny, and we are back with some more Manchester United career mode. Before we start off, I just want to do a few shout-outs. Shout-out to Jaden Beasley, shout-out to LA10 FIFA, shout-out to Matthew Liam Smith, shout-out to Mark Jones, shout-out to Ian Stewart, shout-out to PL Pat Droidsden. Or Droids, I'm not sure how you say that, bro. Sorry if I messed that up. Shout-out to Jordan Siv 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 Sivita, I think is how you say that as well. Shout-out to Vlado G, Russia the gamer. Welcome back, Russia. What's going on, bro? Shout-out to Eric Westwood, shout-out to Will Hassan, Jack Lacey, and Mr. Fluffy Kitty. You also said a double R. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry if I double R, right? I'll start doing different celebrations. Anyway, if you guys didn't know, we're banned from streaming for three months, which means we'll be back in February with the streams on YouTube. But in between, we are streaming on Twitch so make sure you follow me on Twitch link is in the description down below let's move on to the Manchester United career mode and let's play against Arsenal but before we do that I have got a few questions go ahead ask your first question yes yes first question go ahead Patal from the Indian Times here is there any point doing another season with Manchester United if you win the Champions League well if you win the Champions League it's obviously a great achievement a great achievement to win the Champions League at Manchester United you finished seventh last year Alright, well they finished fifth, so it felt like seventh last year. And then coming in, you know, making a better squad, winning the Premier League first season, then hopefully doing a treble the second season. Great achievement, but if everyone wants me to do another season, I will do another season. That's the only way I can answer that. Yes, next question. Eric Westgard here. Why have you saw Varela yet? He is not good, he's not young. Sal Varela and bring in someone like Will Grigg in the next transfer window. Oh, wow, Varela, Varela, Varela. Um, to be honest... He isn't a great right back. He has got a lot of potential in my eyes. I think it would have been better in real life if we had Varela rather than in the game. I think he's got the potential to get better, just not in the game. We haven't got the time to make him better. So you are right in a way of selling him on, but he does play better than his overall, so I'm not sure. Yes. JJ Mac X here. Is there any way you're going to be streaming on YouTube again? Uh, yeah, we will be streaming on YouTube. As I said, February time, we will be back on YouTube to do streaming rather than Twitch. But right now, we're streaming on Twitch. Link is in the description down below. Let's get into this Man United career mode. No more questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to the Manchester United career mode. It is your boy, Sonny. Let's get straight into it. 66 points at the top of the table. Eight games left. And Arsenal are only four points behind, uh, behind us. And I can reveal our next game is against Arsenal themselves in the Barclays. Not even the Barclays anymore. In the Premier League. Hopefully we can go ahead and win this game. We are exa exactly what we're saying. We're going to play a strong suit out there. We're going to go with our first 4-3-3 formation. We're going to change it up a bit though. We are going to play Bale up top. I might give Suarez the leading role instead of Griezmann for this game. Also, Hamas Rodriguez is going to play. Pompa's obviously going to play. We're going to bring in Saul, who's been on fire for us recently. Alibur can stay in the team. Carvajal is going to come out of the squad for Fabinho, who's also been on fire. Hummels and Ramos is not going to be my partnership. I'm going to play Ramos and Laporte. Hopefully it doesn't turn out to be a big switch in the wrong direction and we can get some goals from this. Nani's going down in overall now. We're also going to put Ronaldo on the bench. Super sub right there. And we need to make it permanent as well. That world class difficulty needs to stay on legendary. Let's get into the game against Arsenal. They're at home. We're at the Emirates Stadium. Let's go beat them and show them United deserve their lead at the top of the table. Danny Welbeck, the former Man United man himself. Fernandez, Chamberlain. Well back, Kazola. get the ball off him man, no don't give him the chance, and Danny Welbeck, only 10 minutes in, makes it 1-0, not even 10 minutes, 7 minutes in, makes it 1-0 Arsenal, David De Gea, my defence, they should be distraught after that, look how they picked us apart, they picked us apart, Kazola, great dribbling to get it forward in the first place, Danny Welbeck, left foot shot, David De Gea had no chance. Hamas Rodriguez, Pogba. He's got Suarez with him. Can play that back to Pogba with the back heel. Pogba. Pogba can play that out to Neymar now. Pogba's still in the middle. Neymar gets the cross in. Suarez! Oh my God, how has he not scored? How has Suarez not put that into the back of the net? It should be 1-1. Suarez just wide. What the? What's going on there then? Hey, what is going on there? Neymar with the throw. Take it quickly. Alaba. Pogba. Lays it off for Saul. That's a big save from Chesney. 
And it's going to get cleared as well from Gibbs, for God's sake. Here we go, corner to Manchester United. Whipped in by Neymar. Bang, Suarez off the line from Kieran Gibbs. How? Suarez is this close to getting a goal for United twice. Neymar with the throw. We'll throw it short. Sergio Ramos, Icardi. Suarez in the middle. Icardi looks for him. It's Suarez! Come on! Come on, mate! And we dab on him. I had to do it, Mr. Fizzy Kitty. I'm sorry. Oh, Fitzy Kitty. I forgot what your name was, bro. The Suarez with the goal. 1-1. One, one. Come on. He's bit Mustafi in the ear. And put it in the back of the net. <laughs> dab on him, Suarez. Come on. Alexis Sanchez. Well, then. Will she? No. They're coming forward. They got a chance. Well, back into the box. Oh my god. Oh my god. Have they just done that? Have they just done that though? Suarez had two massive chances. He's going to rue them mistakes now. He scored a goal after two huge chances to make it 1 1, and they've scored. They've come back with a 2 1 victory. Let's try score straight away. Come on, we could do this. Get forward. That is it, man. For God's sake, Alexis Sanchez with the last, last touch of the g game. One point between Manchester United and Arsenal now. We need to pray that the gods help us win the last seven games of the season. This is a close season now. Arsenal have just made it. One of the closest seasons we'll probably see, except for the Chelsea career mode. When we won on goal difference in the first season. That was close. And the last game mattered. Could this be the same? Time to recover from that loss against Arsenal. And what way but to do it in the Champions League. Against Galatasaray in the quarterfinals. Griezmann comes back into the squad alongside Royce Goetze and Ronaldo. Renato Sanchez gets to start alongside Pogba as well. Luke Shaw and Carver Hall playing in fullbacks. Bay makes a return. But we have got Donnarumma in goal. De Gea conceded two in the last game let's see if Donnarumma can do better against Galatasaray come on United it was Luke Shaw played forward come on Royce support there from Goethe back to Marco Royce Royce has got Greasy running through the middle it's Royce played outside to Cristiano Ronaldo and we'll take it Ronaldo does what Ronaldo wants mate bang just like that Marco Royce with the run of dreams Griezmann just dropped off, let Ronaldo have it. Ronaldo will take that beautiful finish into the, the bottom left hand corner. Right now he's aiming for the top goal scorer in the Champions League. Marco Ruiz turns his man, Luke Shaw still with him. Go on Lukey boy, you've got the run now. I've, I've put him out of the picture Cavanda. He's gone. Luke Shaw is bursting forward into the box. Played into the middle, bang, come on. Get a bit more power on it, man. Marco Royce with the throw. Luke Shaw. Renato Sanchez. Across now. Into the middle to Pogba. Pogba can look forward. For Ronaldo on the turn. Ref penalty to Manchester United. Look at the turn from Ronaldo. Lovely little touch. Turns his man. And he's been brought down in the box. Penalty to Manchester United. What a turn. Cristiano Ronaldo. We're going to go top. Right corner, we always go top left, it's Cristiano, oh my god, such a good penalty, the keeper could not even freaking reach it mate, go ahead and sit on that billboard mate, not even a billboard, just a board, alright, a sideboard, you can call that, Ronaldo once again with another goal, 2-0 United, Ronaldo with the goals, he could be back. He could be back at the age of 30 on decreasing to 90 overall. Ronaldo has finally decided to turn up. 2-0. Come on. Can we get one more? Oh, for God's sake, ref. Why is my player running away from the ball for one? But he's blew the whistle. 2-0 nevertheless. We beat Griezmann. Beat Griezmann. Beat Galatasaray. 2-0. Griezmann nearly having the ball at the end. We could have broke, but he's run away from the ball. He won it full time. I didn't. He did. Players, they need to pull their foot out, mate. Because Ronaldo, from three shots, got two goals. They need to start playing like Ronnie, all right? He's doing it all on himself right now. Next stop, Tottenham Hotspurs. And we are playing back at Old Trafford. And we need to convince the fans that we can do the business after that big loss against Arsenal. But before we go into that, I just want to show you guys the top goal scorer right now is Shinji Kagawa, the former Manchester United man, and Neymar is up there. All right, if we carry on and go to the Champions League, the Champions Cup, whatever you want to call it, Ronaldo is the top goal scorer. 
All right, Copa Europe, whatever, Asian Elite Cup, it doesn't really matter. EFL Cup, Pogba, our top goal scorer. The Emirates FA Cup, Rodriguez, our top goal scorer. Do you see a pattern here? Do you see a pattern? I'll tell you the pattern. None of our strikers are up there. So where is our strikers? Where is the goals from our strikers? Right now we're sitting at the top of the table and it's not because of our strikers. It's because of our wingers, our centre mids and our cams. So what I think we need to do if we do start a brand new season in this career mode is look for a brand new striker. Griezmann's not doing the business. Suarez is not doing the business. I'm actually going to give Rashford a chance in the first team. We've still got Van Persie can play as well. Icardi can play. I'm giving, I'm giving Van Persie a chance on the bench. They're just not doing it for me. What are these players doing? I'm getting sick of it, man. I'm getting sick of it. Griezmann and Suarez have been dropped. They're not even on the bench. Martial comes in in left mid for Neymar. We've got Bruno making his debut for Manchester United from the Youth Academy. We've got Ronaldo playing in right wing. Rashford up top. Coziello and Colke in the middle of the park. Tierney, Laporte and Ramos joining Florenzi at the back. Donnarumma or De Gea. Donnarumma gets to start again. Clean sheet in the last game. Let's get that going, man. Let's keep that little rhythm of a clean sheet going again. All right, Tottenham. Let's see what you got. Come on, United. Florenzi. Florenzi turns him off quickly. Ronaldo played back to Florenzi. Ronaldo still running ahead. And Florenzi could kind of find him. It's found him anyway. Coziello. Rashford into the middle. Anthony Martial off the post. Coziello could collect it on the edge of the box as well. Ronaldo tries to get the cross back in. Off the post from Anthony Martial. So close to getting a goal. Rashford backs it up to Bruno. Good ball out to Ronaldo. Bruno's playing good for us. Here's Cristiano, Ronaldo, played out wide, it's Marcus, Rashford, oh, the bar, I think it was the bar on the top of the net, but it was so close for Marcus Rashford, we've hit the post, we've come so close to scoring again, it has hit the top of the bar, man, how close are we going to get, we need goals, Memphis Depay, trying some skill on Coziello, Memphis Depay looks out wide, finds Musa Sissoko, Sissoko. No! I freaking knew it! I saw him go down and I was like, no, please. Tierney's giving away a penalty, man. For God's sake. I didn't step in there. Come on. He's, he's wanted that penalty. He's tried for that penalty. Harry Kane stepping up for it. Where are you going, mate? You're going right. He's going left. For God's sake, man. 1-0 Tottenham Hotspur. And if the North London Derby Arsenal... If they're, their rival, Arsenal, win their game as well, they go top of the table. We need to come back. Hashtag it in the comment section below. Hashtag come back. Let's go. Eric Dyer into the middle to Musa Sissoko, who won them the penalty. And we can play that out on the left to Anthony Martial. Use that pace, Martial. Come on. Anthony cuts his side. He's got Rashford with him. He's going alone, Anthony. 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 Martial. Oh my god, what a run. I thought we were going to get ourselves a goal there. Too close to call right now. Man United should be at least 1-0 up. One goal up even. Here's Tierney to take the throw. I'm going to look on the left-hand side. Come on, Coziello. He's got the space. Coziello has opened up some space. Still Coziello into the box now. Bang that! Come on! Let's do this! Rashi Rashford on fire. All right, we dab on him. That was the wrong way. Dab on him, that Rashford. All right, we don't have to dab, but great run from Coziello. He is going to be a starting centre mid in the next game if he plays like that. Rashford, good goal. A striker has finally got us a goal. Let's go, Tierney. Play that forward. Bruno with his little twinkle toes back into Tierney. Here's Rashford. Play that wide. Let's go, Ronnie. Cristiano Ronaldo, little ball roll, Ronaldo turns it, oh my god, we still got the ball, Rashford, backed up, Martial, off the defender for a corner, so close to taking the lead, how close do we need to get? Kagawa, Danny Rose, Memphis, into the box, Harry Kane off the post, oh my god, I so thought that was going to um, hit the back of the net, I thought the net was going to rustle there. Look how close that was. Are they going to score at the end here? Memphis Depay is taking it to the corner flag. No, he's not. What? No. No. He's, take, he's done the run of dreams. Done and Roman picks it up. And it's a freaking draw for Manchester United. We played good. 
I don't know how we didn't win the game. We played good. They got themselves a goal. We got a goal back. We smacked the post. We smacked the crossbar. Still 1-1. One, one. Lloris had a good game as well. For God's sake. Oh my God. We've been given a lifeline. Arsenal actually lost their game to Swansea, which means we move one point ahead of them, which gives us two points as a lead now, which is crazy. How has that even happened, yo? It has gone in our favour. We have to appreciate that. After the great result against Galatasaray at home, hopefully we can beat them away as well. I am going to simulate the game, but we've got a huge team out there. Neymar comes back into the squad. Suarez comes back into the squad. On the right wing, we're playing Nani, though. Nani. Alright, we're going to try him out. Why not? Saul and Pogba also in the middle of the park with Hamas Rodriguez. Come on, boys. It's near enough a first team out there except for Nani playing in that winger role. Bang, and we draw 1-1. Alright, we've progressed to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Alaba got our goal. Not bad. We win 3-1 on aggregate. Come on. Here we go. A chance to prove our true class against Watford. All right, Watford. Hopefully we can pick up the win. Neymar and Bale return on the wing. Suarez gets a start up top with Gertzé sitting just behind him. Koziello comes into the first team as well after a few great games for him. Eric Bai back in the first team. Let's go out there and hopefully beat them. Come on. Sergio Ramos. Alaba playing that out wide. What a ball. Neymar's away. Here goes Neymar. Suarez is with him. It's still Neymar. Going alone. Ne penalty. Ref, what the hell? I just turned out of the blue. I thought, why not just turn around and hopefully make a good turn to play Suarez in? Obviously not. I don't even get the chance to pass the ball. He's clipped my shoe. He's clipped me. It has to be Luis Suarez who steps up for the penalty. Hopefully he can get this into the back of the net. Suarez, beautiful finish, mate. Beautiful finish. He's bloody biting his hand, all right? He's got a bandage there because he's bit his own hand. And Luis Suarez makes it 1-0 Manchester United against Watford. Alright, not the best of teams, but they are a good team. Great penalty. No chance for the keeper. Even if he did go the right way, which he didn't. Yeah, say. Back to Carvajal. Bale now. Little step overs. Play back out to uh, Carvajal. Two former Real Madrid players linking up. Gertz tries to link up with Bale, who's been brought down. Still has the ball though, Bale. Comes away with it. Bale plays it into the middle. Bang that 2 0. And Carver Hall wins himself a goal. Coming forward from right back. 2 0 Manchester United. How has Bale got away with that? He's literally lied down on the ball. The defenders come at him and lie down on top of him. He's run away with the ball. Played it into Carver Hall. 2 0 United. Through your legs, mate. Come on. Come on, Neymar. Oh, there we go. Neymar's got the tackle in his freaking locker as well. And Neymar might be able to play that through into Mario Goetze. What a goal from Mario Goetze. That deserves a dab, all right? I'm sorry, but that deserves a dab from Mario Goetze. What a freaking goal. 3-0 Manchester United against Watford. What a goal from Goetze. Look at this right into the top right corner. No chance for the keeper. Come on, let's go. Lanzini. Into Luis Suarez. Waits for that support. On the right hand side. Is Bale going to get there? He has got there. But he's been tackled by Jan Matt. And he's got the ball back. Bale. Lanzini. Played down. It's Anthony Martial. And 4-0 is the freaking scoreline for Manchester United. In fact, we're going to the camera. Come on. Manchester United are back. 4-0. David Alaba. Anthony Martial. Carver Hall. Freaking out, these players have stepped up. David Alaba seems to be always in the team when we win. He needs to stay. Carver Hall, great game. He's apparently the player to watch. Anthony Martial comes off the bench and does the bee's knees. Alaba still staying on him. Great tackle. That is what I'm talking about. And we can break now with Lanzini. Suarez is there as well. Through the middle, but the referee blows the whistle as we were charging forward for number five. 4 0. Manchester United, come on! United are freaking back, mate. We're back. Please say Arsenal lost that match and then they could ease the pressure on us and we could go five points up. We are five points ahead of them at the moment. 
But as you guys know, they've got a game in hand. So hopefully they lose that game and we can stay five points ahead of Arsenal with still only seven games, is it, to go? I think seven, no, five games to go. We've only got five games left this season and Arsenal come up with the goods have they come up with the goods my role at the club Marco Royce thinks he wants a better role at the club and they've won their game all right three points not bad wait they've won and lost a game they've drew two games and we've got a game in hand they're three points away if we win now we go six points ahead Crazy, and we're against Aston Villa, who's right now in a relegation position alongside Bournemouth and Newcastle United. What has gone on there? Newcastle United at the bottom of the table. That is crazy. It looks like we could be winning the league. Four games left for Arsenal. Five games left for Manchester United. We're going to leave it there. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, smash that like button down below for that free orgasm, or if you're not old enough, free organism follow us on twitch as well link in the description down below and for now it has been me you guys have been great subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'm out peace so before i go before i go the word is paper all right put it in the comment section below i'm out yo peace